Uh, we are the largest pure play process automation company in the world. And I think that's a really big um, you know, differentiator in the market. Uh, we've probably put over 10,000 automations in production, mm. over 2,000 customers. Um, and all these customers are at different stages of their journey. I mean, I, I get often involved um, in, in chats um, where a customer wants to buy a technology, um, but they typically don't think about, okay, why do they need the technology? So what is the issue they want to solve? So what is the strategy around it? This is where we usually already come in with our consulting approach and help them setting up a whole automation strategy at the beginning. Customers always have uh, some sort of uh, change management uh, related concerns, you know, like. It's a bigger aspect because everybody wants to do automation, everybody wants to realize the value early, but at the same time, a lot of apprehension about um, how do I do it, uh, should I really do it. We definitely have a framework um, that sort of encompasses all these aspects and then make the change management smooth, easy, and adaptable for the customers. So if I look at you know, some of the clients that I currently individually work with, we've automated a lot of tasks and there was, you know, better compliance, there was more throughput, there was better efficiency, we saved a lot of hours, right? How do we go from this task-based kind of thought process, right, to end-to-end -end orchestration? I think um, it's important that you that you jump into the AI space, um, that you think about a Chantic AI, um, that you think about how to realize value out of it. Um, so um, there will be trial and error, of course, uh, but I think it's super important that you start somehow, right? So if you don't start, um, then the competition will do it. Adopt early, adopt quickly in every fashion, will it be testing, be it um, process automation, and then see the results. Some people kind of, you know, they fear what's what's going to happen if we automate. What are some of the things that, you know, that are key to alleviating that concern and some of the things that we're doing to, to enable our customers to adopt the new way of working. I mean, what, what happens if your competitor is automating, if your competitor is using AI, if your competitor um, is going with the new tech stuff and, and being better than you, so what happens then to your workforce? I wouldn't be afraid of adding technology or AI. A lot of this is more about um, apprehensions about, hey, you know, learning something, you know, mm. might take away my bandwidth, right? So that's not really true. It's all about um, improving the productivity. The moment we make um, customers and others understand and realize it's only going to help, um, the adoption automatically comes. They just have to understand what the value is to them and how it's going to make their job better, how they focus on value tasks, yeah. You're right. and really make an impact in the organization. It's important to start. Start with the technology, start with AI, don't wait for it. I would say start as early as possible and as much as possible. Yeah. Don't be shy and yeah. just adopt. I think I'm really ex expecting it to be more proactive wherein less human inputs, more decisions being made um, in the platforms. It's a, it's a welcoming thing, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a big change and big impact on automation. I see it a bit like the new workforce. So you have the humans, you have the automation, but you also have your agent workforce, and they can solve your tasks, your issues.